Hey guys, so today was a really, really tough technical day. Um, there was a long time period there where we were in extreme momentum, but there was an even longer time period where we weren't. Uh, and we really didn't have too much to support the buyers, but they came in and they continued to push to a high day like you see here. Um, so we have a, a lot going on here. So on SPY, we broke out of our diamond pattern. So this is a big deal. And this is definitely something where we're going to keep an eye on for some bigger upside. We also broke our bear ch channel here. So officially, I would say that this downtrend correction is temporarily at least over. Um, now, we could still see a rejection and come back lower. But as of right now, we retook the 8, 20, and 50 EMA. And today, we really made the 8, the eight EMA support. And we broke through our August 8th uh, resistance area right here at 448.8. Really, once we break over and close over 450.7, I'm looking for a lot of more upside. Um, our blue channel tomorrow gives us a potential upside for 452.2. Uh, and obviously, our bull channel here has a ton of areas of support still with, with a lot of retrace to go. Uh, now that we're over 448.7, really our next big target is 457.9. So going over to futures here, same thing. We broke out of our diamond pattern, which means we also broke out of our bear channel here. So now on futures, you can see this is a pretty extreme up channel. Um, we are well over the 8, 20, and 50 EMA. Uh, and now we're over 4506 supply. So really our next major resistance is 4540. We do have a double demand at 4563 and 4566 that we could come up and touch in the near future to take those levels out. But as you see, we don't really have any other areas in this, in this to, to look at for trading wise here. Um, realistically, I am leaning bullish. The only thing that's going to really make me bearish again is if we get back under the AEMA support. Going over to the queues here, we same thing. We did break out of our diamond pattern by breaking out of the bear channel. But interest, interestingly enough here, we did not break this, this red up channel here. So that's off of this low and this low being projected up here. So that's kind of interesting. That was exactly our high of day. So resistance for tomorrow is 375.9. And then as you can see from there, it can go pretty high and we can still be in our extreme channel here. Same thing here. <clears throat> we took back the 8, 20, and 50 EMA. We broke through our August 8th high, that supply at 372.7. So from here until something puts us back down, I'm looking for 382.8. Going over to the VIX here, you can see we're in the blue extreme short or downturn right here, but we also have our black bear channel here. So we are still in the bigger broad and red bull channel up though, but tomorrow that support and is going to be right here at 14.1. It was quite interesting today to see the le say the least that the VIX did not really unwind with this squeeze up in the market. So, you know, most of the day, really from 10.15 to about 3 p.m., the VIX traded in about a 25 cent range and it really didn't go anywhere. Um, so again, it didn't support this upside. I would have liked to have seen the VIX really dropping the whole time that SPY was rising. But again, that's not what we got. And again, the technicals are very, very tough today. Um, I'll be interested to see if, if this is a short squeeze, likely we will see a second day of continuation. Um, but this actually is our third green day in a row. Let's see, when was the last time we had three green days in a row? I bet it's been a while. Last time we had three green days in a row, which we closed three today, was July 24th to the 26th. Uh, and then you see we have that massive Japan day where we got the huge drop. So uh, this is definitely a change of pace. Uh, bulls definitely look like they're taking over here. So we'll, we'll see what, what the market brings tomorrow.